Last chance for Michigan. Bottom of the ninth, they trail two to one. Only run that they scored was in the fifth. The only hit of the game for Michigan is that right there. A Jordan Wogu single puts Thomas over third base and then the sack fly one batter later by Jesse Franklin. That's been all the offense so far for the Wolverines. So here we go. Blake Nelson, the eight-hole hitter to start things off. Against Magno and he fouls it back. Fewest hits allowed at a Big Ten tournament game, one. We have seen it twice. Minnesota against Illinois in 2006. And Indiana against Michigan in 2014. And now five years to the day later, Michigan is being one hit by Ohio State. think that though, Dana. Eight walks issued by Ohio State pitching. Michigan's had a lot of base runners in this game. Not a base runner there as Magno blows it by Blake Nelson. You're exactly right. And you go back to the mid-game interviews, it was, it was about not capitalizing on the miscues and mistakes. And this is a great executed pitch by Magno to get the first out. be able to take advantage of those free passes. So Seth Lonsway, the starter, he went five and a third. He watches from the dugout. His teammate Will Finnick bridged the gap with an inning and two thirds, and now Magno dealing to a KO Thomas. State took two and three from Michigan during the regular season. Even though they are the seventh seed, they're trying to make it three of four against their rival this year. Thomas takes a strike. He's walked twice and he struck out. And he hits that off his foot. Foul. That could not feel good for number four. So right off the instep of his front foot. Seems to be able to shake it off. Kid who has battled injuries in his career. 2-2 from Andrew Magno. It's low, 3-2. After this, it'll be the top of the Michigan order. Full count. Hit to left field and well struck, but it's foul. Just an eyelash ahead of it, a KO Thomas, nearly his third home run of the season, and boy, would it have been a big one. Big swing, hands inside the ball, much better swing than we've seen from him in this game. Just a little bit out front. Fastball on the inside part of the plate, a little bit more level. This one. Foul ground, right field side. It's going to be a tough play, but it's made by Connor Pohl. Dealing with a wind, blowing that right to left. Two outs. And Michigan is down to their final out. But it's the man who leads the conference in on-base percentage, Jordan Wogu. home runs on the season. Are you prognosticating? Hit the ball well as last at bat. First pitch misses. 1-0 to the designated hitter. He 
We saw Illinois, the lower seed win game one. Now Ohio State trying to beat Maryland, who defeated Illinois in that first game, I should say. Maryland the six seed, Illinois the three seed. Two balls and one strike. By the way, this building opened in 2011, and the fewest combined hits in a game here since this park did open was five. Right now, we only have four between these two teams. Ohio State with three and one for Michigan. Fouled off at the plate. Ohio State is one strike away. State got down one to nothing, but they got two runs at the top of the eighth, and now they try to close the door of the ninth. Foul back our way. Magno will not mess around with off speed here against Wogu. Very dangerous, but we've noted the success that the Buckeyes have had working on the inside part of the plate against them. You see the setup by the catcher. Popped right side. Will the wind blow this back? No, it will get over toward the dugout. Two and two hit over by Scott Pose. Scott's got to make that play. I got to tell you, I was going to say the exact same thing. Figure a guy who played in the major leagues would drop his microphone, but nope. Instincts didn't take over. <laughs> Here comes the 2 2 again from Magno. Line drive right at Nick Irwin, and Ohio State defeats Michigan 2-1. to one. And the Buckeyes are now 4-0 against their rival, the Michigan Wolverines, at TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha. And they beat them last year 5-3. They beat them this year 2-1 to one in the opening round for an upset victory. One hit performance by the Ohio State pitching trio of Seth Lonsway, Will Finnick, and Andrew Magno. Not the prettiest of games, but they got the job done. Only three hits by the Buckeyes. But hits when it counted to play the two runs and win this ballgame. A tidy two hours and 45 minutes. Ohio State took two of three from Michigan during the regular season, and they win here. And the boys in the dugout love it, including the starter, Seth Lonsway. A little celebration, Magno and Dingler. <laughs> well, extra sauce for this game and this matchup. Definitely fun to watch. Even though, as we discussed, Lonsway walked seven, he also struck out six. Kept Ohio State right in this game until, as you mentioned, they got the two runs in the eighth inning. And hold on for the victory as we take a look at the Big Ten bracket.